Hey, what's happening everybody? This is Robert the Leather Cowboy Muhammad right here in the dirty, dirty South. Right here at Premier Leather Crafters. Now, I know that I was going to, I know usually I tell you guys that I'm going to post pictures of finished products and all that. And I get so busy and caught up that I never really get a chance to do it. But this is the part two video of fun projects that you can do uh, small projects that can maximize your profits and make you a lot of money if you just work on those small projects. You don't have to go out there. And, Cause I, just to reiterate real quick, or do a quick recap. I know you guys first, especially you ones who are just starting out and you don't have a lot of money to, to invest in your tools. You don't have a lot of money to invest in materials and all of that stuff. But I'm gonna do two of these quick projects, actually three because I did finish the inlaid stone cuff, but I just haven't had a chance to finish putting the snaps on and doing the color, but I think I'm going to just leave it a natural color because I really like the way that it came, turned out naturally. But just to show you guys, um, that's all that's left to do is drop the stones in. So first one up first is the leather bib trucker's hat. Turned out great, don't you think? Turned out great. Simple basket weave pattern and did a little Sheridan carving into that. I thought that I was going to try to go in and paint and do the leaves and all that. But then that, to me, that was just overkill. So I decided to leave it natural. Now, you guys don't excuse my haircut. I know I need one, so leave me alone. <laughs> but um, just want to show you guys how it's going to turn, how it turned out. Turned out great. The only thing left to do now is run the edge coat around the bib and get it all nice and uniform and black. And then I'm going to come back with some tan coat. Tan coat. Now, I'm really starting to like this product as a top seller. Now, it can also be used if you guys are doing resisting. You can resist. Tan coat is... Actually, man, I'm liking this better than the Resoline. It leaves a nice finish, and I'm going to show you another one of the, the uh, projects, the fun projects that we did on the Minimalist Wallace, just to show you how that shine makes this thing pop. I haven't seen this much shine from a product except for Neat Lack. Now, you guys know that Neat Lac is no longer being made anymore. Well, not by Tandy anymore. I don't even know if the other suppliers are using it, but hey. If you're looking for something that has that shine and that pop like neat lac, this is the one. Tan coat. Get you some tan coat. And I use it strictly for a top finish. Don't know how it's going to work yet with resistant because I done bought a big old bottle of that Resoline. So I think I'm going to work the Resoline out first before I jump in and commit to a big bottle of tan coat. But so far, Phoebings, Fibings, whichever way you want to say it, Tan coat is the way to go. All right, now, trucker's bib turned out real good. Turned out real good. So now, let me switch hats real quick. I'm not going to let you guys see my hair. <laughs> because, man, I mean, I've been whooping already for about two months. Getting ready to go on another business trip next month. So I know for those of you who are in the urban culture, you guys know what I mean by whooping. It's just been, I've just been whooping for two months. Well, this is my third month of woof. So, but I am going to take care of that. Now, next up is the minimalist wallets. And these turned out even better than I imagined. You guys know from the previous video, it's just two parts. And this is the elastic that was inlaid in that. I'm going to come back and tan the interior part. I haven't made up my mind yet if I want to dye the insides of these yet. I probably will because there are a few little blemishes while I was trying to hold it and had ink on my hands. If you're a crafter, you know about that. I should have been using gloves, but I wasn't. So, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how these work. All right. And let me put these in. And it held up really, really, really good. Really, really well. And I was even actually shocked at the elastic on here but i'm gonna put this together now look i made this thing to hold up to let me see how many cards one two three four five six seven eight it's eight cards so technically um if you was to carry this 
Um, I'm going to say seven credit cards, debit cards, check cards, whatever kind of cards you want, plus your driver's license. So you got your uh, insurance card and all this. And the remarkable thing about this and what I really like, what I really, really, really like about this product, and I think I'm going to make the switch. Oh, I dropped the backside. Hold on. I'm going to make the switch and going to make one of these for myself. Yes, this turned out great. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. Turned out great. Big enough to hold the cards. Front side, back side. And I know you're going to say, hey, look, that's slipping. Look at, and I'm really, I'm really not trying to squeeze these, but if I hold the elastic, it's going to make it really tight, but no slippage. This is the even better part. Let me angle this down a little bit so you guys can see. This is the real front pocket wallet. Look at that. Can't even tell that it's in there. Front pocket wallet. Bam. Right there in the front pocket. These are going to be a money maker for somebody out there who is going to do small projects. And you have enough space if you want to carve, stamp, or whatever the case may be, or drop initials in. These will be some great ideas this coming up Father's Day. This coming up Father's Day, these are going to be some great ideas. So you can go ahead and start practicing with these and then start advertising these on your pages. And these are going to be a great money maker for you guys. Sorry about that. You know, I got the garage door open. But um, these are going to be some great money makers for somebody out there. Now, I am going to attach. Now, these are um, the carbon fiber ones that's on Amazon right now at $29.99 and if you don't have that many cars the eight cars you are now on Amazon you have to buy another strap if you have less cars than this than these so you have to buy another strap which is another $5.99 which is a great part about our business um, and our industry in this leather crafting world you can bet you can ask the customer how many cars do they carry and then all you have to do is just find some little cards that's in your wallet that you don't have anymore. I mean, look at this. I, I got some, uh, I took a card and just cut, I had some, some came in the mail. So I just used that to cut that off. An old uh, medical card, another a Logan's gift card. I mean, I just used stuff that um, to give me that card stock. And to cut that pattern out of but these are very i'm very pleased with these and the way that they came out very pleased and then if you need to go in there and get one this is how you do it boys and girls you just slide this up slide that up find the card that you want bam 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 and then guess what Boop, push it back together back in the front pocket very pleased with these these are going to turn out real good. But so for me to get back to you and say, by these being leather and based on your um, craft level, if the plastic ones are $29.99 on Amazon, I think I saw another one on there for like $24.99. But, and that's plastic. And then it had the microfiber or the, the, the micro... Um, uh, I forget what they call that print, but um, they had that on the plastic carbon, uh, uh, carbon uh, print, carbon micro, micro carbon print was on the plastic ones. But my bees being leather, and they're going to last just as long. And you have the ability to stamp and carve in these. I would suggest, I would suggest anywhere from thirty five ninety nine to $39.99 uh, over those. And it took probably, it took longer for the uh, tan coat to dry than it actually took to make it. And don't forget the RFID paper in the middle. Now, the last piece, fun projects, small fun projects that you guys can create and make a lot of money. And here's the last one, the inlaid stone. You guys see that? You see how that's raised? And the leather 
where we cut this out is actually holding that stone together. Now, if you guys can see this, behind the stone, there is no glue or no contact cement behind the stone. I didn't want that to show through this glass. I didn't want the, the, the stone where you can see the glue behind the stone. So I just did the, um, the contact cement around the stone and the way that we cut this out, you guys remember, um, not two sixteenths, but an eighth of an inch from when we when we first laid when I first laid that stone on the um, on the leather, traced it out. I set my wing dividers at eighth of an inch, and that's all that little raise is is eighth of an inch. Now, once you wet that and you dried it, it still had. Well, once I got ready to put the contact cement on there, let me say that once the contact cement was set on there, and when it dried and set. Look at that. Nothing's going to fall out. Bam. I was like, nothing's going to fall out of that. That's great piece. Great piece. I think the only way that this would even remotely, remotely try to fall out or fall out, somebody would have to physically take their thumb and force that stone through that little small hole. And then it could because the leather would start to give if they work in it. But why would you pay that much money for a piece to purposely destroy it and just to say, hey, uh, I want my money back. Now, you guys know in our business, in this custom leather business, I'll make you another one. But we don't do refunds in this business because you're paying for the craftsmanship. Now, if your clients and customers are like mine. Or even a brand new customer uh, that's turning into a client, you have already seen my work. You already know what I can do, so you already like my work. That's why you're calling and placing the order. So that's all understood. No refunds. Hey, this is the Leather Cowboy right here, Premier Leather Crafters in the Dirty Dirty, with fun, small fun projects that you can do to create and generate a lot of money on this. So again, the front pocket minimalist wallets, as well as the inlaid stone cuff, as well as the leather, custom leather bib on the trucker's hats. Hey, I hope you guys, thank you guys for chilling with me these last 12 and a half minutes. And I want you guys to know, hey, look, don't forget to, don't forget to hit the subscription button at the bottom and hit the little bell so when I do these videos for you guys, you guys will get a, a notification and say, hey, the cowboy didn't put up something else new. So thanks again. Thanks, you guys, for all your support. And I'll see you guys, as always, on the other side. Learn your tools. Learn what your tools can do for you. And practice, practice, practice. Peace.